November 23rd, 2014 from Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, California. It was the St. Louis Rams at the San Diego Chargers. The Rams won the toss. They elected to defer, so the Chargers would take over first in this game, and they would start off on their own 20. But they ended up moving backwards, and they would end up punting the ball after going three and out. So now St. Louis would take over, and they were faced with the third and nine from the 39. Sean Hill dropped back to pass, and he was intercepted by Flowers. Flowers ended up fumbling the ball, but it was recovered by Ingram. So it was a crazy play with the interception, then the fumble, but the final result it ended up being San Diego's ball on the St. Louis 23, with just under 12 minutes left in the first. Ryan Matthews then ran for nine yards on first down and then another two yards on second and one to make it a first down on the St. Louis 12. Then on third and three, though, an incomplete pass would bring out Nick Novak to attempt a 23-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the Chargers put the first points on the scoreboard with the score, San Diego 3, St. Louis nothing. So now the St. Louis Rams would take over on their own 32 with about nine minutes left in the first. They would end up bringing the ball to midfield and into San Diego territory. They would end up being faced with a third and 17 from the 41. Sean Hill dropped back to pass, and he hit Bailey for a 19-yard reception. There was a roughing the passer call on the play, so now it was a first down on the San Diego 11-yard line. But they weren't able to get it into the end zone, and so Greg Zerlin would come out to kick a 22-yard field goal. It was up. It was good, and this game was now tied up at three apiece. So now the Chargers would take over on their own 20 with about a minute left in the first. Ryan Matthews then ran for 17 yards right up the gut. And now it's a first down on the 37. Phillip Rivers then went to Keenan Allen for a 20-yard reception. And the first quarter came to a close. So after one quarter of play, the game was tied up at three. So now to begin the second quarter, the Chargers had the ball. It was a first down on the Rams, 43. Phillip Rivers dropped back to pass, and he hit Eddie Royal for an 11-yard reception that made it a first down on the 32. Now on second and six from the 28, Ryan Matthews ran for 19 yards to make it first and goal on the 9. Then on third and goal from the 8, Phillip Rivers dropped back to pass, and he was intercepted, and Jenkins ran it back. 99 yards for the pick six. Six and the touchdown that made it 10 to 3 Rams over the Chargers. There was an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against the Rams, and that would end up going against the kickoff. But the Chargers now took over on their own 24 with about 11 and a half minutes left before halftime. They went three and out, and so the Rams would take back over on their own 20 with about a little over nine minutes left before halftime. On 2nd and 10, Hill hit Trey Mason, and he went 26 yards to make it a first down on the 46. Then on 2nd and 8 from the 48, Hill went to Kendricks. He picked up 16 yards, and it was now a first down on the Chargers, 36. Then on 3rd and 10 from the 36, Hill went to Cook. He picked up 8 yards, but it would be just shy of the first down. So they would bring out Greg Zerlin to attempt the 46-yard field goal, but it was blocked. So the field goal was blocked, and the score remained 10-3. So now the Chargers would take over on their own 20 with about four and a half minutes left in the second quarter, but they would go three and out. So now the Rams would take back over on their own 23 with a... About two and a half, two minutes left in the second quarter. Then on third and ten from the 23, an incomplete pass, but no, it was pass interference. And so now it was a first down on the San Diego 47 for the Rams. Sean Hill then fumbled the ball, but it was recovered by Cunningham. And that brought us to the two-minute warning. It was now second and 14, and Hill went to Britt for a 51-yard touchdown. But wait a minute, there was a face mask, and the touchdown was nullified as it was against the offensive line. So now it was 2nd and 29 from the 34. They picked up 3. That brought up 3rd and 26. And they just ran the ball again. And that would bring out the punting unit. And so we saw a punt. And now the Chargers would get the ball on their own 16 with about a minute and a half left before halftime. 
and they actually, instead of just sitting on the ball, they would move down the field. On second and six, Rivers went to Royal for a 12-yard pass, and that made a first down on the 32. Then on second and 10, Rivers went to Royal again, this time for an 11-yard pass to make it a first down on the 43. Rivers then went to Brown. He picked up 12 yards. The Chargers called their last timeout as it was now a first down on the St. Louis 45. Rivers then went to Brown again for an 8-yard pass. He ran up to the line. He spiked the ball. So now it was third and two on the 37. He then went to Royal for a seven-yard pass. He picked up the first down, and he got out of bounds. And so now it was a first down on the 30, and an incomplete pass would now bring out uh, Nick Novak to attempt a 48-yard field goal. It was up. It was good, and it was now a four-point game with the score 10-6 to Rams over the Chargers. And then the kickoff brought the first half to a close. So going into the locker rooms at halftime, the Rams had a four-point lead as the Chargers had cut the lead to four just before halftime with that Nick Novak field goal with the score St. Louis 10, San Diego 6. So now the Rams would open things up in the third quarter, but they would go three and out. So now the Chargers would get the ball on their own 39 with about 12 and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Matthews ran for six yards on first down, and then Rivers threw a pass to Matthews for 10 yards on second down to make it a first down on the St. Louis 45. Then on 1st and 20, Rivers would end up going to Gates for a 10-yard pass. And then on 2nd and 10, Rivers went to Oliver for a 13-yard pass. And that made it a 1st down on the St. Louis 32 for the Chargers. They gave it to Ryan Matthews, and he ran 32 yards for the touchdown. That gave the Chargers the lead for the first time in this game with the score now San Diego 13, St. Louis 10. So now the Rams would take over with less than 10 minutes left in the third quarter. They had the ball on their own 20. An incomplete pass would bring up 2nd down and on second down. Sean Hill was sacked for a seven yard loss by Lugit, but he forced the fumble. It was picked up by Gacker and he ran it in 13 yards for the touchdown and the defensive touchdown made it 20 to 10. Chargers over the Rams as they now extended their lead to 10 points. So now St. Louis would get the ball back. They'd have it on their own 34 with about nine and a half minutes left in the third. But after four plays, they would punt it. And so now, though on the punt, it was a muffed catch. It was fumbled, and St. Louis recovered. And so now they would have the ball on the San Diego 21 right there on the edge of the red zone. Tavon Austin then ran for 15 yards on an end around, and it was first and goal on the six-yard line. After an incomplete pass, it was now second and goal from the six, and they went for another end around to Tavon Austin, and he ran it in from six yards out for the touchdown on the end around that cut the lead to three as it was now San Diego 20 St. Louis 17. So now the Chargers would take over with about six and a half minutes to six minutes left in the third and they had it on their own 17. They'd bring the ball up towards midfield and on third and six from the San Diego 49. Phillip Rivers dropped back to pass. He hit Keenan Allen for a 35 yard reception but he was blown up by Jenkins. He forced the fumble and McLeod recovered and so now the Rams would get the ball on the San Diego 15 with about two minutes left in the third. They would punt four plays later and San Diego would end up taking over with less than a half a minute left in the third quarter with the ball on their own seven yard line as they were backed up against their own end zone. Brandon Oliver ran for a yard in the third quarter, came to a close. So after three quarters of play, the score was San Diego 20, St. Louis 17. So now to open up the fourth quarter, the Chargers had the ball on their own eight-yard line. It was second and nine. Rivers went to Royal, and it was a 10-yard reception that made it a first down on the 18. Then on third and three from the 25, Rivers went to Aratutu, and it was an eight-yard a pass that made a first down on the 33. Then on third and three from the 40, a false start made it third and eight from the 35. Rivers then went to green and it was a 28 yard reception that brought the ball across midfield and to the St. Louis 37. Then on second and three, Rivers went to green for a six yard pass that made a first down on the 24. A false start would then make it second or first and 15 from the 29. Phillip Rivers dropped back to pass and he had Keenan Allen for a 29 yard touchdown as the charge extended their lead back to 10 points with the score now San Diego 27 St. Louis 17 so now the Rams would take over with about 8 minutes left in this game they had the ball on their own 20 trailing by 2 scores they were faced with a 3rd and 4 and an incomplete pass would make it 4th and 4 and they would end up punting the ball but on the punt some, they actually went for a fake punt and it ended up being a pass from the punter to Bailey and he picked up 19 yards and it was now a first down. 
So now the Rams had a first down on their own 45. They were then fa faced with a third and one from the 46 of San Diego. Hill then went to Bailey and he picked up 22 yards on the reception to make it a first down on the 24. Then on third and eight from the San Diego 22, Hill went to Cook. He picked up 10 yards and it was now a first down on the 12. Cunningham then ran for eight yards and it was second and two on the four. And then Hill went to Bailey for a four yard touchdown pass. But wait a minute, there was a penalty illegal use of the hands. And so the touchdown was nullified and it was second and 12 now from the 14. Hill then went to Cunningham for a seven yard pass and that made a third and five from the seven. Hill dropped back to pass and he found Bailey for the seven yard touchdown as it was now back to a three point game with the score San Diego 27. St. Louis 24. So now the Chargers would take over with just two minutes left in this game with the ball on their own 20. And a five yard pass from Rivers to Allen would bring us to the two minute warning. Now a second and five from the 25 and Matthews ran for three yards and the St. Louis Rams would take their first time out. It was now third and two from the 28. Rivers was sacked by the rookie Aaron Donald for a five yard loss and the Rams took their second time out as the punting unit came out for the Chargers. So the Chargers would punt the ball to St. Louis. They would take over on the San Diego 40, trailing by just three points with just under a minute and a half on the game clock. An incomplete pass would bring up second and ten from the 40. Hill would find Bailey for a seven-yard reception, and it was now third and three from the 33. Hill then went to Britt. He picked up 27 yards, and it was now a first down on the six-yard line for the Rams. So on first and goal, they gave the ball to Cunningham. He ran for two yards. It was now second and goal on the four as the Rams were looked to be assured to at least tie the game and possibly take the lead and win the game with just a minute on the clock and on second and four Hill dropped back to pass he looked for Britt but instead here comes Gilchrist he intercepts the ball and gives it to the Chargers and the Chargers take over on their own three yard line with a huge clutch interception by Gilchrist right there with less than a minute on the clock and so San Diego takes over on their own three Rivers takes a knee. The Rams take their final timeout. Rivers takes two more knees. The Rams can't stop the clock and the Chargers hold on to win in exciting fashion with the final score. San Diego 27, St. Louis 24. And with the win, the San Diego Chargers are now 7-4 on the season. They're 5-1 at home. As they're right there keeping pace in the AFC West. They started the day a game back of the Broncos and the Chiefs who are tied for first place in the division. The Chiefs actually lost on Thursday night, so the Chargers are tied with the Chiefs at 7-4, and they got to wait and see what happens with the Broncos and as that game is happening at the same time, but this game came to a close first. But with the win, as I said, they're 7-4, 5-1 in San Diego. The Rams are now 4-7, 2-4 on the road. Phillip Rivers is now 29 for 35. He has 291 passing yards in this game with one touchdown and one interception. Sean Hill was 18 for 35 with 198 passing yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. The leading rusher in this game was Ryan Matthews. He had 12 carries for 105 yards, including a touchdown for an impressive average of 8.8. And the leading receiver in this game was Keenan Allen with 104 yards off of six receptions, including a touchdown. The leading receiver for the Rams was Stedman Bailey. He had seven receptions for 89 yards, including a touchdown as well. And the leading tackler in this game, it was, a it was a tie between Eric Weddle for San Diego. He had nine tackles. And for St. Louis, Alec Ogletree had nine tackles as well. And the Rams ended up having three sacks in this game as Donald had a sack, Brockers had a sack, and Langford had a sack. And San Diego had one sack in this game. That was Lugit. The Rams had one interception. That was Jenkins, that 99-yard pick six. And the Chargers had two interceptions, Flowers, and then Gilchrist at the end there with that huge clutch interception at the end that really won the game as it really came down the wire. It was crazy. I mean, really, uh, it really looked like St. Louis would win there. Four yards away from winning, and all they needed was a field goal to force overtime. Instead, the picks, well, the interception by Gilchrist, and that was all she wrote as the Chargers hold on to win this one in dramatic fashion with the final score San Diego 27, St. Louis 24.